Hi, uh, Rich Templeman. I work for EE um, in the ESM program. So what we're here at BAPCO 2019 to do is actually demonstrate the ESN gateway solution. So what we've got behind me is um, we've installed uh, an ESN gateway into a Surrey and Sussex police car. So it's a base installation. It's the first time it's been installed into a police car. Um, what we've also got is a installation in my vehicle outside the arena. Um, and what that's doing is that's transmitting the ESN um, network on the TDD 1900 frequency into the arena. Um, obviously, working with Parallel Wireless has been great in terms of getting a solution to where we are so we can demonstrate it today. And we've, we're working closely with the likes of Ollie here to ensure that whilst we're demonstrating the solution, we're also testing it as well because it's a very, very challenging environment. And so far, they actually the the results have been fantastic. Um, I've walk tested the whole of this arena and I'm getting coverage from my gateway installation outside to the whole of this arena into the far corner um, and it's still a massively usable signal. Um, there's been a massive buzz about this since about this demonstration because everyone's just seen it on paper up until now. It's probably one of the first times that we've actually been able to demonstrate it live to actually the, the users that are going to want to buy this eventually going forward. So as you can see, it's, it's very busy and it has been very busy for the last two days. So um, what we've got, it's the base installation, the two units. So what actually is a gateway? It's, it's basically, um, it's a coverage infill solution. So they've, they've got one under their current solution today, the Airwave. Um, this is the ESM version of that. Um, and what it'll do, typical use cases are where you might not have the penetration from the outside network, say into a house, residential, and office block. Um, the end users can switch this on when they're getting out of the vehicle, run towards the incident that they're dealing with, and when they get away from usable outdoor coverage, they will basically transfer onto the gateway solution. And that's all automatic. And that's all automatic, the push of the button. One of the, the greatest things about this is, is that usability of it. If you push the button, the cell becomes active and it's a mobile base station at the end of the day. So the user does not have to do anything to their handset and so on. So they, they just will hand on to the usable signal when they go away from the unusable. Which is a big outside. improvement to what they have at the moment with the current. It's a, it's a massive improvement. Okay, the, one they, the one they use today is very, very good for what it does. Okay, it's a Tetra-based solution, uh, I mean, it's, and it, it, it does what it says on the tin. Um, but there's certain things that they have to do to get onto that. They have to tweak something on their handset. They have to make sure they're on the right tool groups on the on the device in the vehicle. It's not, a seamless experience. It's not as seamless as as what we've you know managed to get designed out of this, this solution, essentially. So. Okay.